hi welcome back uh, today's video's topic is stream api okay so as you know we already discussed uh, this lambda expression functional interface uh, default method predicates function so uh, like today's video's topic is stream api uh, this is a little bit important uh, not little this is very 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 important topic of uh, java 8 new features okay so uh, we will discuss this stream api in two parts first of all let me give you idea about the history part and uh, second uh, we will see how with the practical examples okay how we just uh, gonna work in the real time experience when you just gone into the project or uh, when you are working on your own project then how can you use this stream api okay so if you haven't watched this all uh, five videos i have uh, made a playlist of this uh, for like predicate default function lambda i sorry i forgot to add one more here like last video okay so i will add that also right after this so you can come here uh, to my channel and come to this playlist java 8 new feature and you can watch it from here okay yeah so for today's video let's uh, gonna start this uh, yeah so uh let me start with the first uh, theoretical part so first when i attend my last interview so i will uh, give you the questions also because i want to give you the quality of uh, content right because i don't want to be like uh, after learning this uh, you go through the some website and you will uh, search for the interview questions so after uh, go through this video uh, you will have a clear idea what is the stream api okay so uh, the first question which uh, the interviewer asked to me last interview uh, as you know like i have um, recently switched so okay just give me a five minute let me introduce myself so you have a better idea so how why am i just a right person to be uh, tell you this uh, interview questions okay so as you know my name is ashwini kumar Upadhyay. i have done my btech uh, from ims engineering college gajewan in 2019 I'm having two plus year of experience. Uh, my previous employer was Cognizant, and they, uh, that I have told, told like many videos. Like I uh, recently switched, so I'm working with right now uh, one company, very uh, well known company. Uh, that is not part of this video. We will discuss this later. Okay. So these are the my skills in two plus year. I know uh, this is like uh, if you uh, look into their skills, this is pretty like a very long list. So this is not in two year only. I have started working on my skills from my first year. Okay. So and uh, the as you like C, Android, Spring Boot, Spring Badge, services, RESTful services, web services, right? And MySQL, PostgreSQL, all these. And I have uh, just little bit experience in uh, automation testing also. Okay. That is a different uh, part of like uh, a set of my life. I will discuss this later in some other videos. Okay. So right now get back to the topic so uh, i am preparing for interview um, in last five months and uh, finally i got into the one company so that's why uh, from my experience i can uh, give you the idea what type of questions will be asked uh, from the streams so first question they ask me like uh, do you know the java 8 i say yeah i know other pretty uh, functions like uh, features uh, lambda expression default predicates and all the people mostly ask a question into the from the uh, streams okay so okay uh, the first question uh, let me type here so i can attach this file in the description so it will be good for you also right so first question they ask me what is the difference uh, in stream and java dot io okay yeah of course you are uh, working with the stream so there's an order and second question they ask me uh, same thing what is the difference in collection and stream okay yeah i can uh, type the answer here uh, Okay, when I attach this file, I will type answer and give it to you. So I can say, okay, we use Java.io 
if you have like basic knowledge of java you definitely you have this knowledge uh, the java.io we used when we are uh, like saving a file uh, saving a data into the file right when we are performing a file related operations then we need java.io right so we use java.io when we are uh, dealing with files okay in one word uh, i am giving the answer okay so just keep uh, remembering this and stream okay and what is this stream when we want to process an object from the collection then uh, group of object from the collection then we go for a stream okay so this uh, this whole concept of a stream api and java.io is different so do not confuse about them okay so right so I will write this here and down stream okay when we want to process object from the collection then we should go for stream right okay yeah so now the second question what is the difference between the collection and uh, stream right so let me uh, make you explain with the help of something called paint so what do you mean by uh, what do you understand by collection if you have idea so let me tell you collection right uh, not this come here buddy yeah here if you have this collection right and uh, suppose you want to make a uh, you, you will make an object of array list so uh, if we have an idea of collection right uh, we have a store number of object like in collection we are storing a number of array list so suppose in this uh, I am storing my array list object 1 2 3 4 5 like this I have uh, stored several number of object of array list okay so with the help of stream this is my collection right uh, this is my collection so you got the idea right this is my collection now what is stream is with the help of a stream here with the help of a stream what I will do here I will take out one by one or group of object from this collection right got it yeah I think got it so yeah and then get back to the topic yeah so collection uh, let me write answer for you uh, when we want to represent a group of group of individual object as a single entity then we should go for collection right this is the definition of collection okay got it so now second thing is the stream uh, so let me yeah I already uh, right here right when we want to process our object from the collection then we should go for a stream so these are the two questions which are uh, like theoretical part from the theoretical part they ask so uh, as you know the interviewer will ask the question from the two part like from the theoretical part uh, he will uh, try to understand like uh, do you know that uh, uh, do you have a knowledge of that concept what particular like a stream so after that they will uh, give you the some question and they will say okay can you write a lambda expression or something like that okay so we will see all these things so come back now what is the stream is so here uh, we saw like what the stream is and how it's work right now let me take you to the code i have made this class i think it is uh, visible to you right mm, or it's not visible then uh, what i will do yeah i uh, have zoom it right it's visible now let me make one array list object so i will show you something array list and we will say integer okay and i will say l1 new array list okay and here I will say arrays not here in constructor I will say arrays dot list 
as list okay and here i will pass 10 comma 20 comma 30 and this is a one way of initializing our array list uh, through constructor with the help of as list method okay if you have any problem in collection please let me know okay i will make a series of collection no problem in that okay so uh, if i say sys o and l1 so it will uh, print all these things right <coughs> yeah as you can see here <coughs> sorry as you can see here right 10 20 30 right yeah so here what we do now i will show you something here stream s equals to l1 dot stream now it shows me an error here right uh, because i want to import something and what it is it is java dot util dot stream package java dot util dot stream right if you can see here uh, it will come here java dot util dot stream and dot stream right and here it is a small and here it is a capital right okay now what is the difference in uh, this what is it actually stream uh, this is an interface okay uh, and as you know we can't uh, make object of interface but we can uh, use it as a reference variable so let me make a note here for you so i can attach into the uh, description okay so stream first of all what is this stream mm, sorry okay this is an this is an interface okay and where it present uh, it present in java dot util dot stream right first point second how we got a stream as you can uh, as you notice here right this we have a array list object collection right and here on the top of collection on the top of collection i just invoke this method stream i have invoked this method stream right yeah on top of this collection i invoke this method stream so we first point here uh once uh, okay like this we got stream uh by invoke stream method on top of collection object okay now second thing now when you got your stream so we have like two ways of processing an object okay so remember one thing we got a collection okay we declare and we initialize a collection object we got our stream now after getting a stream after getting a stream the second point is we have to process an object and for processing an object we have two ways how many ways we have two ways which ways so we can say we sorry in the command section okay we can process an object in two ways first configuration second processing okay in configuration we have two ways we have two ways of configuration how we can do that we will say it uh, okay now uh, let me uh, check okay yeah sorry uh, we have two ways first is uh, filter okay and second is map okay now and the processing 
okay this is a second thing we will discuss it after discussing configuration okay so when you got this first stream object here by calling a stream object on top of your collection you will get as your stream object and uh, let me show you one thing stream s1 equals to s dot if you say this as dot and you can see like a lot of method you are getting here right like shorted peak map filter as we are discussing here like suppose you just say filter right and it is expecting here predicate right and on the place of predicate you can pass your lambda expression also as we discuss in video of our predicate video like predicate is a boolean validity function which uh, give you the result on the basis of boolean uh, condition true or false right so here we use filter to filter object on the basis of boolean condition and if you know what is a boolean condition is true or false right and when we go for a map if we want to make a new object for every object present in stream present in collection or a stream we can say collection okay because let me give you the idea uh, what I am saying here collection okay suppose uh, you have a stream right uh, first we will complete I know this is a pretty like tricky or uh, it is uh, a bit difficult to understand right now but believe me uh, first you understand this uh, theory just not to understand just read it about it right and when we uh, when we go for a actual implementation all these things like filter map and all you will have a clear picture like what I am talking about right now it will help you to understand uh, in a uh, like practical part so filter when we want to uh, take a data or take an object from the stream on the basis of some boolean condition why I'm saying here boolean condition because uh, what is a filter uh, uh, you can see like filter can uh, filter is a method which expecting here predicate and predicate is uh, like you can pass here lambda expression uh, which will uh, perform like boolean condition right true or false like uh, length is uh, greater than uh, 12 or length is greater than 15 or number it divisible by 2 like this okay and map like if you want to modify a data like suppose you have a array list here right 10 20 30 and if you want to add 10 in each and every value so you can go for a map right got it these are the two ways to configure a stream okay and for processing we have various methods like count max and uh, like lot of like there we have seven to six methods we will discuss each and every method in detail no problem okay so that's all uh, we have completed our theoretical part in this video and uh, yeah very soon I will push that uh, practical video just after this video or uh, after one or two days okay uh, I know this video is a little late because I was uh, just busy in like uh, joining other company so that first day so it is very important to me so that's all that's why I'm busy so now the videos will be com uh, coming continue so no problem okay yeah so thank you so much for watching this video i will see you in the next video see you Ta -da. bye bye